There you could preach a lot of messages upon that. You could say the altar sacrifice, altar of prayer. The altar where, where you go to God every morning and pray to the Lord every yes. morning. You know, do we have a prayer life like that? Come on. Where the fire is constantly burning. Title this message, Don't Let the Fire Go Out. Yes. Come on now. Don't Come on. let the fire go out. I was never a Boy Scout, but my my dad would take me out in the woods and he would teach me a few things about the woods and stuff, and he would tell me stuff about fire. The first thing about fire is you can't take a little match and burn a big log with it. You first have to start with some starter, some uh -huh. kindling, mm -hmm. some fire starter, some newspaper. You take the match and you put it on the newspaper and it burns. Once the fire gets bigger, then you, put, you can put bigger pieces and the bigger pieces and before long, you've got a gigantic fire going. That's good. Amen. 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 Something else he's, he, he taught me, I don't know if it's true or not, but he said that smoke <laughs> follows beauty. Amen. So anytime the smoke would start, you'd go, smoke would come this way, and then you'd run over here, and the smoke would go that way. He would say, smoke follows beauty. So, <laughs> Thing he, he taught me. Uh, <laughs> you, he said, fire is dangerous. Right. You have to put you have to put stones and and a wall around. Jump somewhere else. Come on now. And and start a forest fire. Burn down. Yeah. You know, kill Smokey the Bear. You know, uh -huh. you got to be careful. <laughs> but that's that's a physical fire. But God often compares the to fire. Amen. Amen. The fire of the Holy Ghost is to be in our life. And it is never to go out. Amen? Amen. 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 That's good, Tim. Right. Right. Uh, now, this fire that of the Holy Ghost may have started for you in a red-hot service, maybe in a youth camp, or maybe it sh would have started in a, in a prayer meeting. You would have been at the altar praying, and God would have touched you so strong. He would have given you visions. He would have told you. He would have called you to the ministry and, and, and set a course for your life. This is where I want you to go, and this is where I want you to be. And that fire stoked up in your heart, and, and when you left that service or that altar, you were ready to, as the pastor says, attack hell with the water pistol. Amen. You were ready to go. And uh, that, that Old Testament priest, that was his job, to keep the fire going every day, every day. And it was one of those parts of the tabernacle plan that was unique because the fire was never to die out. And, and what burned on the fire? It, a sacrifice. To therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, full service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good yes. and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. Our bodies are the sacrifice. Amen? Amen. Come on. Our bodies Amen. are the temple of the Holy Ghost, right. but they are also that living sacrifice that goes on the altar. And that fire of the Holy Ghost is supposed to be con continually burning. Continually burning and... and <laughs> continually burning as, as our bodies are, are, uh, are consumed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. 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 Uh, so, but I think sometimes we tend to slack off a little bit. Sometimes we tend to uh, we get like this fire here. Come on. Is this a revival fire? Or is this a kumbaya fire? Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> this is a kumbaya fire. <laughs> because you put the wood in, you get the fire going, and it goes, and it, and, it, and it flares up, and it's nice and warm, and it gives you light, and it's real comfortable just sitting here by this kumbaya fire, but there are some bricks around this. There's a cement wall around this, stopping the fire from going anywhere else but in that little ring. Watch and out, sometimes now. that's the kind of fire that we have in our life, a kumbaya fire, where we put limits on God and we say, God, you can only go in this little circle. Right. You know? I just want to feel the warmth of your presence, and I just want to see the light so I can see where I'm going for right now, but don't go anywhere else in my life. Don't change anything else about me. Don't get into uncomfortable areas where, where I have to change some things about my life. Amen? This living sacrifice 
Our body is not for fornication. Right. Preach. Our body right. is not for wearing certain things, going certain places, oh, hanging out with amen. certain people, yeah. partaking of certain things. That's not what our body is for. Our body is a living sacrifice. Amen. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes when the fire gets going in our life, God tries to change things about us. He tries to say, you know what? I don't like that about you. I'm going to let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn that out of your life. Amen. And if we're sensitive to the, to the Spirit, we start to mature and we start to grow in God as the fire of the Holy Ghost burns that out. But sometimes we put a ring around it and we say, God, you can't go anywhere Come else on. but here. Right. Right. Amen. A couple days ago, Brother G preached a two-word message. No limits. No limits. Amen. Amen. No limit at all. Yes. Amen. Amen. But there are ways that you can limit God. There. Yes. The Bible says in Psalms that the people the, in the Old Testament, they limited the Holy One of Israel. They put limits on God. God wanted to do great things in their life. God wanted to, to, to bring them into the promised land, but they put a limit on Him. They said, you know what? We can't do it. Their heart was hard. Their 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 uh, their belief was was low. They didn't believe that God could do it because they were stuck in Egypt, a type of the world. They always wanted to go back to the world. They always want to say, you know what? It's funner in the world. Fire to just burn and consume all the filth out of our life. Yes. We want to go back to Egypt. Uh -huh. But God wanted to take them so much farther yes, into the promised yes, land. Yes. God wanted to 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 spread His His word through the entire world through them as a royal priesthood. <laughs> But they wouldn't let him. They put limits on them. Amen. And to this day, atheists will laugh and scoff and say, uh, well, God didn't get rid of the iron chariots in, in uh, Canaan. And there's a, there's a scripture that says that, that the children of Israel couldn't take over these people because they had iron chariots. Well, why is that? Because they had limits on God. Mm. They said, God, you're, you're not allowed to go this certain place in our lives, and we're only going to go this far in you, and we're not going to go any farther. Mm. If we do that, we're going to die like this kumbaya fire. It, it may will. be burning right now, but sooner or later tonight when we all pack up, this fire right. is going to go yes, down it and it's going to die. Amen. Amen. Right. Sometime later someone might revive it again and have a little revival, but then it's going to die again. Mm. we got to take the bricks off mm. of our lives. That's we good, got to say, God, you know what? <laughs> burn anywhere you want in my life. Amen. Let Amen. that fire burn continually. The only way that fire can continually burn is that if it has a continual source of fuel. Yes, right. Right. Yes, Amen. Sir. This Kumbaya fire does not have a continual source of fuel. That's, right. That's all the fuel we got for this fire. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. But in our life, if we take all the bricks off and you say, God, just consume me. Consume me from, from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Lord. <laughs> Tell me what I'm supposed to do. You know, I'll follow you. Have a submissive spirit to Amen. God and Amen. to the man of God. Yeah. And let the fire just burn in your life. Amen. 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 sacrifice that the uh, priest was supposed to burn every day. The Bible says that the fire was to burn the fat all day long. They would put that sacrifice on the fire and the fire would just consume and it would burn off all the fat. Now, what do we think of when we think of fat? You know, I got some fat right here. <laughs> <laughs> What's fat? Fat is eat too much, your body stores the rest. <laughs> but that's that's the fat. And so when you take this Goodness. fat beast over and you sacrifice it, the fire burns up all the fat. Good. <coughs> now let me teach you some holy God Come right on now. now. Hebrews chapter 12. Let me just paraphrase it. It says, Wherefore, what? because we're compassed about by so great a yes. cloud of witnesses, let's lay aside every way. And the sin which does so easily beset us, and let's run the race That's right. with patience. That's right. We have got to let that fire Come burn on. off that fat. That's good. Amen. Yeah. There's some extra things in our lives that we're carrying around that we don't need to be carrying around. Amen. There may be some friends that we're hanging around that we don't need to hang around anymore. Amen. There may be some things that we're attached to that are things of the world. <coughs> you know, uh, like the Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. Jesus, even Jesus, we said, remember Lot's wife. Mm -hmm. Lot and his daughters and his wife were so stuck to 
the city of Sodom, the city was about to be destroyed by God by fire. Amen. Not the kind of fire you want in your life. You want Holy Ghost fire, not Holy judgment Ghost, fire. Amen. 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 But they were so attached to the world Amen. that the angels had to grab him and say, Come on, let's go. The, the angels grabbed him and pulled him out of the house and out of the city. They said, Come on, move it. This city is about to be destroyed. And don't even look back. Just go. But one of those people in that group, Lot's wife, she was so attached to the world that she looked back. Yes. You know, when the trumpet sounds, are you still going to be waiting on something oh, in the world us. to happen? You know, wait, let me, let me, let me get my Preach. iPad, let me collect my things while I, before I go to heaven. You know, I help can't go us. anywhere without my, my, uh, my little device or my, I can't go anywhere without this toy or without this, this thing that I need in my life. It's not, there's not going to be time for that. Amen. When it's That's time right. to go, it's time to go. you got to lay aside all yes. those weights. Right. Amen? Right. Amen. Amen. And you got to lay aside that sin that easily besets you. And run this race with patience, you know? Right. Burn that fat off, you know? I'm preaching to myself. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, if you continue reading on Hebrews chapter 12, the last verse of that says, For our God is a consuming, consuming fire. fire. Yes. Come on now. He is a consuming fire, and he wants to consume yes. you. Yes. Amen. The power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 He wants a Billy Cole out of here. He wants a Come Stone King out of here. That's good. Amen. Right Amen. I believe that with all of my Hear heart. It. Amen. Amen. Hear it. You can be a young minister. You can be someone who's great in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. You can be someone who contributes to revival. You can be someone who could bring those souls in. And, and 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 reap a harvest for God that He wants, Amen. but you gotta let the fire burn in your life. Amen. 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 Moving on. Are you gonna be a firefighter? When a fire gets out of control, there's these people that come up, and they they fight the fire. Amen. Right. This is not the kind of fire that you want to fight. That's right. I don't want to be one who resists the Holy Ghost. That's yes, good. Sir. When the Holy Ghost starts Amen. moving, I don't want it to, uh, you know how f the best way that firefighters fight the fire is not with water. What they do is they go around the outside mm -hmm. and they make a little uh, ring with their own <coughs> fire and they set this thing called a backfire. Yeah. So the outside looks like it's already burned. So they get a little wall of, of outward appearance. And when the fire comes, it doesn't go anymore. Wow. Amen. That's how a firefighter fights the fire. And sometimes we can get in our, stuck in our own hypocrisy and, and set a little ring of holiness around us and say, you know what, God? Help us. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't need any fire in my life mm. uh, because I've got my... See, look, look, I'm clean. I'm clean all around. I'm clean. But inside... There's some still some things that need to be burned out of yes. us. Amen. 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 Do not resist the Holy Ghost. Amen. Do not let, the, let the Holy Ghost move in you. Let it still Amen. change you. Amen. Let it push Amen. you farther. Amen. I said at the beginning of this, I've been here for 20 years. I've seen, I knew some of you when you were babies. And I've seen you, I've been to a lot of these things. Youth camps, you know, some great things happened in Hawaii for those of us who went. Yeah. I remember <laughs> God called some people. They called, God gave you great visions and great uh, dreams about what he wanted for your life. Are, are we there yet? <coughs> have we gotten any closer to what God wants in our life? Come on, or have Pam. we said, Come on, Lord, the fire is too hot right now. Just, just suppress it a little bit, and we'll pick it up later the next time a, a great evangelist comes over. Amen. Don't be like that. God wants to confirm his words with sign yes. following. Amen. He wants great things to happen in this youth group tonight. Amen. 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 So don't be a firefighter. Some of us have drifted calling us back. Calling us back with that same warmth, that same good feeling that we felt in the beginning. First of all, the light, we're drawn to the light, and then we like the warmth. But after that, the fire needs to consume us. Amen. 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 Now this priest, like I said, every morning he's got to carry the wood to the altar. That's, that's, not, that's a pretty boring job and a not fun job. You know, there's other people like Aaron. He gets to go into the Holy of Holies and all this stuff. But you need to have your own personal prayer life Amen. every day. Paul every says, day. I die daily. Yes. Amen. You've got to take that wood, 
and you got to put it in that fire every morning. You got to keep it going. Mm -hmm. Why? Because as I draw this to a close, there's a there is a parable that Jesus tells. It's a word of warning to us. And it's basically <coughs> about some virgins. Have anyone ever heard the parable of the ten virgins? Yes. Yeah. In, midnight, in Matthew chapter 25, verse 6, it says, And at midnight a cry was made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps have gone out. Amen. They were foolish virgins because they let the fire go out. Don't let the fire go out. Right. Amen. 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 Get those bricks out of your life and say, God, wherever you want to move in my life, you yes. know, there are some things that I may have to drop. Yes. There are some things that I may have to drop tonight at this altar, you know. You know what this altar was? The altar that never, ever went out. That was the altar of sacrifice. That was the altar of repentance. That was that brazen altar that never went out because yes. God is never finished with you. That's right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Even after the fire of the Holy Ghost fell in the book of Acts, God was still dealing with some of the greatest apostles. Peter, you know what? Peter had a, a, a racism issue. He wouldn't even preach to Gentiles, but God said, you know, if I call them clean, you, you know, don't call them uncommon. So they had to, so he had to go and swallow his pride and, and preach to some people he didn't feel like preaching to. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. That's right. So God That's right. is always working on you. Amen. So so for those of you who are just uh, hanging around the youth group, not really interested in the things of God, come on now. The fire's right here. Amen. Let it stir up in you. And Amen. for those of you who've been in here for such a long time, like myself, I'm preaching to myself tonight. Don't let the fire go out. Yes. Because once the fire goes out, you're going to be in darkness. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let's stand and lift our hands.